The stalagmites! Destroy them! Free me! us in here. The salt. Wondrous. Understand? It can't escape. Hmm. Let it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt. Perfect for a specter. Clever. But I... I feel it in me, still. So long now. Uh, help me, brother. Give me the potion! To expel it, at last! Found your letters... to Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasmal would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool, but what's past is past. Lambert, the snake! Never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend, I believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me? No. Just got the sneaking suspicion I'm not talking to Reynold right now. Not half bad, your ruse. But don't take me for a fool. But don't you understand? It will take control of me. It will kill you and all those you... you... No! Destroy it! Drink the potion! Finish what I... And what I started! Oh, I will, Reynold. Just hold on a little longer. About to let you leave this mine. Oh, but I will. You are the weaker witcher. I'll kill you, then spread through your viscera, invade your mind. in my way!
centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasmal. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. I can't believe it. Gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasmal. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you exactly? 
cut a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself, like all witchers at Kaer Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor, like all witchers at Kaer Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of, when exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. That was... 900... 70... Er, no. 80. I... I can't recall. Damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osman himself would have come. Shit. I'm sorry. My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices, torches, wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. How did it happen that you came to be trapped with the miasmal? Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though. They panicked. Sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist. Or... Or called for another Witcher? Anything! And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine. All forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm-hmm. I saw. My Asmal tried to impersonate a Witcher earlier. You the real, Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin, they'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit... I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were gonna discuss them when we met at Kermoran. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left-hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep. You're free of the specter, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. 
This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word for my peace of mind. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. Failed to fathom. How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I, I, I had no idea. Ray, Reynold. I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, Hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal Fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Found the remains of a priest down here. Clearly chose to stay. Didn't abandon the sick in their time of need. Is he a criminal? A hypocrite? Mm, and who sealed him inside? Ghouls? Trolls? To red miasma itself? No. The very same church of the eternal fucking fire. Sheesh, the generalizations. Clerics are evil one and all. That make all witchers emotionless ghouls? Never known a witcher to imprison the sick and dying. Whose side you on, anyway? As, as the prior says, he says, Door confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but... But now, knowing of this travesty... The church must protect the weak. Foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is... What shall I do? Where shall I go? <laughs> what shall I do? Where shall I go? <laughs> this about you? Are you the victim? You're a hero. Prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! Ah, a hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. You may lack the will to fight, but I know one who doesn't. Don't need a church at your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye, true. So right, witch... uh... Witches! I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted a red miasmal for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform 
into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. Ha. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world. Here! Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former Deacon. And good luck with your search.